Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you all know, I'm Yaren Gülec. Today, I'm here to present a very interesting topic, which is uh, everybody's concern. All of us have played video games in some period of our lives. Some of us are still playing because this is an addiction for them. If somebody had asked me, can video gaming help solve world problems? I probably would have said, I do not know how. But today, I can clearly say yes. Video gaming can help solve two main world problems. These are AIDS and obesity. I wish I could watch this presentation because they actually devote themselves to keep us out of whole video games. No matter how much they try, according to Jane McGonigal, 99% of boys and 94% of girls are playing video games these days. The number of hours spent playing games has hit 156 billion a year and it's growing. So game designers believe that if they can make solving the world's problems as much fun as playing a video game, there is no reason people won't spend just as much time working on that. Now I'd like to mention this problem which is AIDS. By 2009 AIDS has already killed 30 million people. For 15 years, many scientists in the world uh, were trying to solve the crystal structure for one of the AIDS causing viruses for 15 years, but they could not solve it. Luckily, the University of Washington's Center for Game Science created Foldit, an online puzzle game, puzzle video game about protein folding. Foldit utilizes a game um, like puzzle that allows people from all over the world to play and compete in figuring out protein structures that fit a researcher's criteria. And guess what? The structure was found in 10 days by gamers. 15 years versus 10 days, but how can it be possible how gamers could solve the pattern which scientists couldn't? And again, according to Gonigal, who is a game designer, when engaged in a game, players spend roughly 80% of their time failing. If you were to spend 80% of your life failing, you would probably give up. But gamers love failure. They volunteer to spend their time failing over and over again. As it can be inferred, gamers do not give up because they are compete with each other, they have a mission that must be completed and they are full motivated. Second problem that video games help solve is obesity. The study published in the July 15 of the American Medical Association found that um, children's all types of physical activity including walking decreased by greater than one third as they aged from 9 to 15. Zamzi is a device that clips onto kids and tracks their activities around and has missions that are designed to get kids excited. Kids can upload their activity data onto a website and see how many points they received and whether they have accomplished interesting challenges as well as earned badges and gifts. Amazingly, Zamzi has concrete data to show activity rate of children increased by 59%. What we are seeing here is a, a complete shift from things we should do to things we want to do. But instead of shifting the tasks, we simply make that we should do fun. Imagine a world where kids can save lives or get healthier by just playing video games. The vision for video gaming is a future where no one really works but everyone plays and contributes to a happier and more productive society. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, I can answer them. And here is my reference list. Thank you.